What is going on? Today we are going to be installing the Kimimoto license plate frame holder and we're actually going to be installing ours on a 2020 Can-Am Defender. Now as you can see behind us we have installed ours side by side on a lift. You do not have to have a lift to do this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started with the process. All right so obviously this is universal. It does fit a lot of different things. So that's the, that's the joy of this. You're able to put it anywhere you please. So we have chosen to stick ours on the back left corner here. And the first step we're gonna to need to do, he's lining it up, seeing kind of where he wants it. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna drill some holes. That the way we can install it right there where he wants it. I'll show you a bit of close up here in a minute. All right, so we have your standard cordless drill and we're using an eighth inch drill bit. Now we are gaining access to the tail light harness. I think that's how we're gonna install the wiring for the LED light. We're gonna run it into the tail light harness. I think that'll be easiest, the best and clean way possible to do this. Now that we have gained access to the tail light harness, now we need to determine which one is power and which one is ground. So he's going to look at that right now. Just taking a test light and we are seeing which one has power, which one is ground. All right, so he stripped the wiring off so he could gain more access to this to plug into the tail light harness. Uh, we we're actually going to solder our wires together. It did come with butt connectors, so this way is still good. But just for us, we have access to a soldering gun, so we're going to solder them together. Most people don't have access to this, so the butt connectors are still fine in a situation like this. So now he's gonna get this lined up and try to get it bolted on so we can solder the wires into the harness. Now he's taking the harness from the LED light and he's gonna splice it into his tail light harness. And then this is where we're gonna do the soldering. Like I said, if you don't have access to the soldering gun, you can use the butt connectors that did come with this. He's installing the shrink wrap over the wire, because once he solders the wires together, he'll bring that over where they were soldered and then he'll heat that up and melt it on. We got the soldering clamp to hold it in place. Now in the middle right here, where all those wires are, that's where he's gonna solder it. So now that he's got the heat shrink on, he's gonna let this cool down for a second. Then we're gonna tuck everything back in this harness, put everything back into place. You'll never know anything had ever happened. So everything that wouldn't fit back in the original sheathing of this harness, he's just gonna tape up to hide it a little bit better because there is still some wires that's gonna run from this, the LED harness itself. So he's just taping it up to give it a cleaner look. get this installed this light is super bright uh, it's going to illuminate your license plate really well at night 
All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this installation of the Kimi Moto license plate bracket for UTV, side-by-side, -side, and ATVs. Like I said, this is universal. It'll fit almost any side-by-side -side ATV or UTV. Look in the link in the description box below to see if your maker model will fit. It was pretty easy to install. The LED light is sweet. So if you're interested in this, make sure you click the link in the description box below. Thank you so much.